What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be reacting to a story cinematic from Weathering Waves. The first one to come out for Weathering Waves. I have not seen the story at all. Yeah, I haven't seen the story much. Um, I do know a little bit about it. Like how Yang Yang's going to be there and um, Jian, I think, is going to be there too. Uh, that's pretty much all I really know about the story. So this will be the first like little look into the story that I'll actually have. Let's let's react. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Okay. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the crescent. So that's the, the name of this. That's the name of this whole thing. So this is specifically that battle, I guess. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Oh, okay. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Mid Wait. So. Wait, 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 wait. So the. Are the monsters that we fight in this game actually people? Like, people that died and then came back because of this, I guess, frequency? Wait. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. Discourse. So basically you're just Frequencies fighting people that turning our you were fighting with and then they could just turn into, like, a discourse. monster? Oh. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the. Th Who is that? Who is that? Cause goddamn, he's hot. He's not Calcharo though. No, cause Calcharo doesn't have his little like. Tattoo of his residence is not on his neck. It's on his forehead. So who is? Are we, is that a is that a playable character or an NPC? No wait. Yeah. So he's the general. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all. Black flames. That's so cool. Looks like he kind of goes a little berserk though when he uses it. His his eyes are just red. Until the retroact rain began to fall. Retroact rain. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Upwards. Raged, loyal souls fell to blood-soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshu Lin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshu Lin charged at the mm. Overthrax with all his might, and he was never seen again. I'm gonna say this right now. Whenever they say never seen again, they're lying. Like, they're not saying he's dead, just never seen again. He is. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna keep it a buck. He probably is not dead. He probably is not dead, and he's gonna come back in the story with some type of vengeance, or or I don't know why, but he's gonna come back in the story somehow. There's no way they're gonna say never seen again and then not bring him back. Just not how it works in story games. The remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood okay, so to lead a hard won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind.
and ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. So is Sentinel Jur this dragon? On the other hand, because like I saw all these dragons, and I have no clue who they are. I'm assuming General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command. Why? Earning him a notorious reputation in Wan Long. Why? I guess he could have said retreat. But like if there was like I don't why was he blamed for everything? All right, he's he's going to come back. He's going to come back and he's going to be so bitter because they blamed him for everything. But I, like he was just doing his job. He was just trying to stop the battle and win it. And y'all blame him for that? That's crazy. Like what what would have retreating even helped? I have no clue. Sentinel He's gonna come back with a vengeance for that. To select a new magistrate who guides magistrate. Us into the future. Okay. Despite so it's... the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our Sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. Whose the voice is that? Held hope for a better tomorrow. So this is the girl that's coming out after Yinlin, correct? This is Yin. This is the end. Okay. So this is the girl coming out after Yinlin, I believe. I don't remember her name. But it looks like she's important to the story as well. And then there is someone mentioned way in the beginning. Madam of Jin the Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great Jinzi. Does she like Die or something? Like, what happened to her? Well, why did we need a new one? Picked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Okay. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. Okay. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the. Oh wait, no. Is this the is this the name? Of that girl that's coming out after Yinlin? I think so, actually. One second. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. So this is... Oh, okay, I'm understanding now. <laughs> so this is... So this whole battle is before her. I mean, I think they kind of said that. I'm kind of <laughs> so this whole. Ba I thought that I thought this was somebody completely random. Like, what happened to them? Is this, the so this whole battle is before her, and then they chose her, and then she works with Jian. Um, she she works with Jian, and then she probably meets the main character or whatever, and they go save the world or some shit like that. Cool. What I'm very curious about is this guy, cause like. There's no way, there's no way he looks this fucking cool and does nothing with him. He has to come back with a vengeance. And they also blamed him for everything. So he's going to come back mad about his notorious reputation and probably be like, I gave you everything. Like, you know, because he, cause he sacrificed himself for more power to defeat this big boss or whatever. Like, I gave you everything. You treated me like this. Treated me like crap. Yeah. I could see that happening. Again, I've never seen the story. Um, I never played the beta. Or any any type of beta. So I have no clue what goes on in the story. But I'm going to assume that's kind of the way this is going to go. Let me know what you think. If you liked my reaction. If you liked my points that I made. In this video today make sure to leave a like leave a comment subscribe i'm gonna be playing weathering waves on my twitch so make sure to follow my twitch it's the same exact name as my youtube and if you don't want to type it in the twitch then there's links in the description below and i'll see you guys uh later bye